Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. So today I'm doing another Crypto Passive Income update, but before we get going with the stats, just a quick word from our sponsors. And this video is sponsored by Bityard. Now Bityard is a new Singapore-based cryptocurrency exchange. Their main focus is to enable simple trading for the users, even with complex contracts. Now it takes less than 90 seconds uh, to sign up with just an email address or a phone number, and every account gets access to a daily mining feature. And a couple of people have asked me about this, so. Uh, once you've logged into the account, you just go to the daily mining feature. Uh, now, a uh, couple of things you can do. You can either click these individual uh, little kind of coins here. So we can see as we click those, they appear in the list at the bottom. Or you can just click this mining button and then everything gets transferred. You can then transfer it to your wallet. So just click confirm, do the verification capture, and that will go straight over to the wallet. We can now view the balance. And as you can see here, we have $5.02. Now that's from a mixture of the daily mining and the sign up bonuses. So you get some sign up bonuses just for signing up and validating your email address. Anyway, thanks very much to Bityard for sponsoring the video. Uh, there is a sign up link in the description below, but let's jump straight in now to the stats. So this is episode nine of our Crypto Passive Income 2020. If you haven't been following along the series and you want to look at the previous updates, uh, they're all linked in the description below. But basically every two weeks I do an update and I cover the income that I've received from all the different crypto passive income streams. So that's a mixture of staking, masternodes, uh, crypto interest accounts and advertising. So let's jump straight in with the uh, staking and masternodes on this first table. Now, as I mentioned last week, nothing for energy in Navcoin. We've actually sold those coins. Um, I'm a little bit indecisive about whether to buy back uh, any of these, um, a small amount. So I'm going to leave the rows in the table for now and might remove those later in the year and just have like an additional, um, an additional kind of like row for um, dead coins or coins that I don't uh, own anymore. But looking down the list here, we have Syndicate, 19 cents. Uh, Neo Gas, we made 53 cents. Metrics, $4.38. $60 for Pivx, $1.97 for Helix, $4.73 for Icon. So Icon just slightly edging out uh, Metrics this last two weeks, although overall uh, so far, this year, uh, Metrics is still ahead, $50.68 compared to uh, $43.74. So be interesting to see how they compare as the year goes on. And then finally, the last uh, row here at the bottom, we have our Horizon Secure Node. So 42 coins required for each Secure Node. We have two of those, so that's 84 coins uh, in total. And they made $3.59 over the last uh, two weeks. Now moving on to our crypto interest accounts. Now the last uh, two week update uh, covered the beginning of May. So we received our BlockFi payment. As I've mentioned uh, many times before in the previous videos, BlockFi pay out um, once a month. So they pay out on the first working day of each month, whereas Crypto.com and Celsius uh, pay out on a weekly basis. Um, so that's why um, the BlockFi payments are, are pretty large when they kind of come in because they only come in roughly every two updates. So. Something I wanted to kind of mention, um, this is a total amount I've received from BlockFi uh, for April. So $275.69 It's by far our largest kind of pound, almost double of what we received last time. Now, that's a mixture of some compounding of the kind of coins, but also some referral income as well. So um, I've included that in here. Uh, thank you very much to anybody who's actually used one of my referral links to sign up to BlockFi or Crypto.com or Celsius. Um, there will be some um, referral revenue kind of like creeping into kind of these. It's very difficult to kind of separate it out um, because even if I, I try and account for it kind of separately it still goes into the kind of like the total amounts that are compounding and then earning interest for the next month so at the end of the year what I will do is go through and I'll do like a full audit and uh, present how much actually came from referral income and how much came from uh, interest uh, for each of these at the end of uh, the year. It's just a little bit time consuming to do it for every update. But $275.69 over the last month from BlockFi, so that's really good. We do have uh, now over three Bitcoin and over 20 Ethereum. Now these compound up, uh, we, we started with three Bitcoin exactly and 20 Ethereum exactly. So you can see uh, these total, uh, these extra amounts are from the compounding and the uh, referral income. Uh, same with all of these now, I'm actually putting in uh, real time or at the um, 
uh, at the beginning of the kind of week. So this is the total amounts um, that are kind of showing up. So these are going up all the time. Uh, our crypto.com Ethereum one has gone up from, I think, 9.98 over 10 now. Uh, so that expired or completed this last week. Uh, and I've now reinvested and compounded uh, the extra that we've kind of made back into a new loan. Um, so uh, 42 cents for our crypto.com MCO loan. This is the Monaco token, which was the original uh, crypto.com token. There is now a CRO token as well, which is used mainly for trading. Um, our Ethereum loan made us $2.17 and our Bitcoin loan uh, made us $11.50. And then our Celsius um, Bitcoin loan made us $17.50. So a substantially more from Celsius than we got from crypto.com. And you can see here, so our crypto.com is now compounding up. So we've got now 1.023 Bitcoin. Uh, Celsius, the amount of Bitcoin will stay the same because I'm choosing to be paid out in this Celsius token. Um, but we will earn interest on this token as well. So um, as uh, the year goes on, I'll make a note of how much we've uh, currently earned in Celsius. And then the total amounts um, that we receive from both the original Bitcoin loan and the compound in Celsius, uh, I will account for here. So um, Celsius is still doing better than crypto.com in terms of uh, the amount. Uh, one Bitcoin obviously put into both of those. $57.28 for crypto.com, $79.22 for Celsius. Uh, obviously, we have accumulated this Celsius. So if this drops in price or anything like that, uh, it won't be so uh, good. But I'm going to keep it in this probably till the end of the year. And then I'll kind of cash everything back to the base kind of currencies of kind of Bitcoin. And we'll see how we do. And then finally, uh, the USDT alone, so 1,037 uh, USDT now, and that's $2.89 that we made over the last uh, two weeks. And then finally, uh, the last two lines here, so we've got library. So we made $14.10 from our library uh, income. This is the library token that we receive when people watch our uh, videos that uh, sync from the YouTube. So when I publish uh, to YouTube, it gets synced to library. And then when people watch those videos, uh, I earn um, library token and uh, the people who are watching them also earn library token and there's various other kind of um, uh, sort of giveaways and sort of um, chunks you can you can earn through the library platform as well. Every time you upgrade to a, the latest version, it gives you um, some free tokens when you reach a certain number of views and stuff like that. It gives you uh, extra tokens as well. So uh, library still behind YouTube overall so far this year, YouTube up to $117 compared to $84.36. Although Library has picked up a little bit, the price of Library a token has picked up a little bit over the last couple of weeks. So uh, we might see this kind of increase and get back towards YouTube. If you've been following since the beginning of the year, you'll know that I was actually making more from Library than YouTube right at the beginning of the year back in uh, January. But that has now turned uh, the other way. So uh, the grand total for this update, $358.34. So you can see massively higher than our previous updates. As I mentioned before, every other update is the BlockFi one. Um, there will come a time, a couple of times, where it, uh, we go to updates before uh, we get our BlockFi payout because it's obviously these are every two weeks and there's only a 12 months in the year. Um, but we should get another payout the next uh, in two payouts time. So these ones, every other one is higher than the ones in between. Um, we've had a nice increase in the price of Bitcoin as well, which has really kind of helped things as well. So it'll be interesting to see how our sort of intermediate ones, so our even numbered updates happens in two weeks. That should be, I imagine, uh, a, a chunk higher than uh, week eight. So week 10, looking forward to that update. But a really good update this um, this time, uh, driven by a, a mixture of the increase in price in Bitcoin and a cryptocurrency in general, but also some of that referral income now starting to kind of like accumulate and kind of compound up. So uh, thanks again to anybody who has uh, signed up with one of my referral links. Uh, I do include them in the description below in the kind of footer. Um, so if you're interested in checking out any of these programs, uh, there will be a uh, probably a referral link and I earn a small amount of crypto uh, if somebody signs up. So with Celsius, I think if you sign up and deposit the equivalent of $200, I think I get $10. And often um, some of those bonuses are matched to the person who actually signs up through an affiliate link as well. But anyway, that's it for uh, this update. It's a fraction longer than usual. So apologies if I've gone on a little bit, but um, hopefully it's been interesting to you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the uh, comments below. It's always nice to hear from you. Let me know uh, uh, if you would like me to get the comparison video. So this is something I've been um, looking forward to doing for a, a few uh, weeks and kind of m maybe months now. Uh, but once I'd done the individual videos on BlockFi, Crypto.com and Celsius, I wanted to do a comparison to make it easy for people, uh, maybe in different situations, holding different coins, uh, 
as to which is po possibly the best platform or my advice is what's the best platform uh, for them. So that'll be coming out in the next week or so. Um, let me know if there's any um, other platforms that you'd like me to include. I might start looking at Credearn and maybe Nexo as well uh, over the next kind of month or two. So uh, look out for videos on them and maybe we'll have some additional loans uh, for those going forward. But thanks very much for watching as always. Uh, stay safe. I hope you're uh, looking after yourself. I hope you and your loved ones are well in these kind of crazy times we're living through. Um, but look after yourself and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.